Hey everybody, welcome back to Letterman Row. It is tight ends week, so you know we've got to have Jake Stoneburner back right. in the building to beg for some throws to the tight ends. As usual, it's the off-season tradition, unlike any other. Beg for throws, <laughs> please, right? All right, so uh, Luke Farrell, he's, he seems like he's a little bit overshadowed right here. We know what Jeremy Ruckert can do. We've talked about him a number of times. He had that great catch in the Big Ten title game that got people buzzing, but I, I just look at Farrell and I see a higher man. I see a Nick Vanette, uh, an NFL tight end that can do everything. Took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> We're like, a good team here. Yeah. They literally, <laughs> they literally like, those two guys to a T, they can do everything out on the field. Maybe they don't get all the glory because they are doing all everything, but it is a, they are solid NFL tight ends. And to have that and their backup or 1B be Rucker, it's <laughs> a pretty nice dynamic duo right there. So I know that we're always dealing with like, you know, limited amounts of targets for these guys, but the last, you know, three weeks of the season, you know, Ruckert had a catch in all those big games. Farrell had a catch in all those games. I know that that's just six and one apiece, <laughs> but like that's something, right? It seems like Kevin Wilson knows that those guys can help him out. When you make big plays and big games, you're just going to be able to maybe get the ball more. They're going to be more up to want to give you the ball because like, hey, they made a play in a prime time. All right, we feel comfortable make, giving them more opportunities. Now that was a while ago, <laughs> so hopefully that continues into the season. I think uh, with the coach style of play, quarterback, I think they might be in for a good season. But we say that every year, so who knows? <laughs> it's a it's a tradition unlike any other. Breaking down the tight ends, Luke Farrell heading into a big year uh, for the Buckeyes. We'll see what he can do. Jake's going to break it down for us right now. Let's roll the tape. All right, Sony, we've actually done this one before, but it's so good that you have to, if you're going to do a Luke Farrell highlight reel, you have to put this on here. Have to. <laughs> have to. And as we were just saying, I mean, he's covered. But the quarterback gave him an opportunity. He made a play, a phenomenal play. Now it's going to give the quarterback confidence to make those type of throws to him this year and going forward. But at the end of the day, hell of a throw, but a one-handed yeah. snag in the corner. That's an NFL touchdown. Both feet back in. You got to make contested catches if you're going to play right like down in the red zone. If you're playing over the middle, down in the red zone, hand in the dirt, most of your catches are going to be contested. And if you can't do that, you can't play. And Luke's showing that he for sure can do that. Gets the feet down, one-handed catch. Uh, you're not going to get any better. All right, so the rest are not going to be as exciting for Luke Farrell last year. I think he finished with seven catches and a couple touchdowns. But, you know, he looked at the last three weeks. He's moving the chains. This was a, you know, a key one. The game was still relatively tight there in the fourth quarter. It, it, confidence booster for the quarterback get it to the tight end fourth quarter I need a first down tight ends open he catches it makes the play nothing fancy but just building that confidence is going to allow the quarterback to look for them more often which you know we want way more of now right. he does a great job here going with the quarterback getting open for the quarterback and not just running down the field hoping to catch a bomb he, I couldn't see where he was at in the back, but it looks like he came forward and was able and gave him the quarterback a wide open option instead of everyone else just running away. And that's great scramble drill right there by Luke. Yeah, I think that that's one of the things we've talked about a lot is that, you know, a lot more often than not, these tight ends are going to move the chains for you. They're not going to be the explosive long gain, but there's absolutely nothing wrong on second and 12 getting nope. a first down. And that's a pretty nice throw rolling to your left touch. <laughs> this guy is good too. We, <laughs> yeah. we, can, we can talk plenty about him, but he actually caught another ball from the punter the next week. So, you know, another example. Versatility. You pointed that out to me. Like, hey, you see you're on the punt team. You're on the punt team. Now we got to look for you. Teams will watch this film for the rest of the time he's playing there and be like, watch this guy. So now they're always going to be on their heels. And here we are again. We need a play. You drop this, they get the ball. Make a play. He makes a play. And that's just going to continue to build his own confidence, the coach's confidence in him, and hopefully catapult him into a huge senior year. Hey, Drew Chrisman can make a nice little throw there, too. So <laughs> Prop, yeah, Third, fourth string quarterback, maybe. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go again. Uh, the last one of the season for him. The last, maybe it won't be as much of a confidence booster, the one <laughs> game that got away. We don't need to break down how that happened, but you know, Justin Fields still looking for 89. Over the middle. Catch it, you're going to get hit. Just that's what you. That's what a tight end does. Your contested catches, hit catches, and he he's been making those plays. Another first down, big part of the game. Quarterback needs you to get open. I need you to make a play, and he does that. And holds on to it after some nice contact. Yeah. I mean, he's your typical tight end that we've been. You know, the higher men, the Vanettes. Get. I'm going to get open, catch the ball, rumble and tumble, and take the hits, but make the plays. Still a little time left for the Buckeyes before he can be an NFL tight end, but. Looks like he's well on his way. Jake Stoneburn breaking it down for us, as always, at Letterman Row on Buck IQ. It's tight end week. For Stoney, I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.